We just showed that the area of a nice triangle is half its base times its height. But here's a not nice triangle. It's not nice because it's obtuse and its height is actually sitting outside the figure. So I'm wondering, is the area of this triangle still half B times H? Seems very strange if you actually think about it. Now most people will complain saying, why am I choosing that as the base? Obviously if I choose this as the base, then its height would be inside the triangle and things would be fine as before. But that's not my question. If I'm going to be insistent that this is the base, is half BH still the appropriate formula for this triangle? And that's a deep question all of a sudden. We could try putting in a rectangle as before, and that's great, and this is the obvious rectangle to put it in, and this is the area we're interested in. The trouble with doing this, I really don't believe the shaded area is half the area of the rectangle. So we're in a different territory now. Well, okay, so let's see if we can derive a formula for the area of this triangle if I insist that B be the base. What I'm going to do is name this length X, and I see the rectangle is actually in three parts, and the area of the rectangle is H times its base, B plus X. So I could say the area of the rectangle is H times B plus X. It can be, it's composed of three parts, part one, part two, and part three. Part two is the area I'm interested in, but I know a formula for area one. It is actually its own triangle with base B plus X and height H. The H is kind of on the edge, kind of sneaks in, into, the, into it, but uh, inside the triangle. But the formula I had before was fine for this one. So I know that area one is half its base B plus X times H. And area three is actually also a triangle. Its height is just inside it, basically right on the edge. I can use the same formula I had before, that area three is half its base X times H. So that leaves area two is the one I'd like to know. And, uh, but what I have here by the, con by the principle number one, that the area of the whole rectangle is some of the parts, like I said area of the rectangle equals area one plus area two plus area three. So the algebra tells me to work out area two, the area of the triangle, take the area of the whole thing, area of the rectangle, HB plus X, subtract area one, minus a half B plus X times H minus a half XH area three. There it is, there is the area, for me for the area of a triangle that's obtuse. Lovely. Well, obviously I can do a little bit of algebra on this. For example, H times B plus X minus half of H times B plus X, something minus half of itself is obviously just half of it. So this is one half H B plus X and still minus the one half XH on the end. Maybe I'll expand this because I don't know what else to do. A half H times B minus plus, whoops, a half H times X, great, and I still have minus half XH. But then something magical happens, look. They're identical, and I see that the area of the triangle, again, is half base times height. So our formula works even for this type of triangle, which is good to know. Not many people realize that this is a question that's worth exploring and to be answered. So yes, everything you're taught to believe about the area of a triangle is indeed true. And there's a nice little just application just to end off this video. This is kind of fun. If I tell you that's a little base here, and I just draw a line of a certain height above it, parallel to that base, we've basically just proved the area of this triangle, half base times whatever that height is, equals the area of this triangle, equals the area of this triangle, equals the area of this triangle. All triangles are the same base and the same height must have the same area. In fact, if I go out 400 miles this way and you do a triangle that's really, really shallow out to the, you know, 400 miles away and back, the area of this very skinny triangle too must be the same as the, original, as the beginning, any one of the others right on this diagram. Which I love this, by the way. This is obvious, obviously true from the formula. If they all have the same base, the same height, the area must be the same. But that challenges my intuition. That doesn't feel right to me that all those triangles have the same area. I think it's lovely. All right, thank you very much.